tasting is um, a very good opportunity for me to talk and develop a bit more about the Chateau d'Ampuy. Because um, we have uh, launched the Chateau d'Ampuy wines in 1995. So we can say quite recently. Of course, much more recent than uh, La Moulin, La Turque or La London. And it's been clear since the very, very beginning for the people that the Côte Rôti Brunet Blonde was here, the single vineyards were there, and the Chateau d'Ampuy was somewhere in between. Um, this tasting is a very good opportunity for me to show you and to convince you that the Chateau d'Ampuy is definitely closer to La Moulin, La Turque and La Landin than to the Brunet Blonde, which has not been very clear for some people at the beginning. So um, the Chateau d'Ampuy is, in a few words, the selection of our best estate vineyards touching La Moulin, La Turque and La Landin. You can see that uh, on the Côte Blonde, that is to say left hand side of uh, this map, um, you have the red spots or the orange spot being La Moulin. The vineyard touching on the right is named La Garde, it's part of the Chateau d'Ampuy. And on the left you find La Grande Plantée and Le Clos that are also part of the Chateau d'Ampuy. Same story for the Côte Brune, the strictly Côte Brune, where the purple spot is uh, La Turque. Touching La Turque on the right is La Pommière. And below, you have uh, Le Moulin, Le Pavillon Rouge, being also part of the Chateau d'Ampuy. Eventually, you have La Landonne, a little bit northern, which is a blue spot. And you have uh, the impressive vineyard of La Viria, being the steepest vineyard in Côte Rôti. We're talking about 120% steep, 50 degrees, like this. And uh, this is, uh, this is uh, the seventh and last element of uh, of the Côte Rôti Château d'Ampuy. So um, we're extremely, we're still very, very enthusiastic about the Château d'Ampuy. All these uh, outstanding terroirs are vinified separately. They are aged separately and the blend is done just before the bottling after 38 months. So this is also a very long aging. Um, the vineyards from the Côte Blonde are very old vineyards. Um, about 80 years old in average, with a significant percentage of Viognier, making that uh, the final percentage of Viognier in the Chateau d'Ampuy is around 7%. The vineyards touching La Turque, La Pommière, Le Pavillon Rouge and Le Moulin are also old vines, whereas La Viria is, uh, has been planted in 2000, so it's uh, much more recent. And what's the distance between La Landon, La Moulin, La Turque? Laveria. My answer will sound very Burgundian, so it's far away. That is to say about uh, 200 meters between uh, La Moulin and La Turque. Uh, between La Turque and La Landonne maybe 400 meters, which makes 600 meters between La Moulin and La Landonne, and this is it. Mm -hmm. And then Laveria? And Laveria is touching literally La, La Landonne. Mm -hmm. There's been a, a lot of enthusiasm for La Vieille. First of all, because it's an impressive vineyard, and when, uh, when you look at it, it's beautiful. But also, the, the, the wines are very, very distinctive. Very distinctive. So, uh, we have had uh, quite a number of uh, journalists that uh, pushed to, uh, to have a separate bottling of, uh, of La Vieille. But I think uh, three Lalas is enough. <laughs> You know, your, your approach here is, I was just thinking, is similar to what Sandroni does with it's going to be Boschis versus it's Livigno, which is a blend of four vineyards. Okay, I mean, you have certain advantages through the blending ability. Yeah. Uh, you can the biggest advantage is, um, for example, a vintage like 2002. 2002 uh, was a difficult vintage in Northern Rhone. We, we've done a very, very strict sorting. So we got rid of 60% of the grapes. So just keeping the 40% best. And we decided at the last moment, so just before the bottling, that uh, rather than uh, seven vineyards in the Chateau d'Ampuy, we would keep uh, five only. And the two others went there to comfort the quality of the Brunet Blonde. We did the same in 2008 with uh, less problems, because 2008 is uh, far uh, easier than 2002. But uh, we also kept uh, five of the vineyards of the Chateau d'Ampuy rather, uh, rather than seven. So we can take this decision at the very last moment before the bombing. <laughs>